um, the Republicans have always said that they are for limited government. Right. Are they also for unlimited whining, crying, and whinging? You know what, Martin? I think the decent thing to do is for us to all chip in and buy blankets for everyone. <laughs> everyone gets a blankie. Right. I've never seen so much whining and moaning and crying. It's pathetic. Look, the, the conservative movement has always supposedly been the macho movement in American politics. But now they are the whinging, whining movement in American politics. Their entire indictment of Barack Obama is, he's mean. That's pathetic. Right. Are you serious? <laughs> well, yeah, she is serious, serious, Ron. I mean, we just saw one of your fellow conservatives talking about the president's plan to outlaw Fox News. Actually, all the president pointed out, and I'm quoting, was that if a Republican member of Congress is not punished by Fox News or by Rush Limbaugh for working with a Democrat on a bill of common interest, then you'll see more of them doing it. Which I don't know, Ron, sounds pretty obvious to me, but are you also losing sleep at night because you're afraid the president wants to take away your Fox News and your guns? I mean, what's your You feeling? know, I'm very happy to come on MB MSNBC and say thank God for Fox News. So the fact of the matter is, without Fox News, we'd still think that Benghazi, that that attack, that terrorist attack happened because of a video. Without Catherine Herridge, without Special Report, without Shep Smith, without the hard news people. By the way, they have more hard news people than MSNBC, uh, sorry, CNN, sorry, sorry, and everybody sorry, else combined. Sorry, Ron, Ron, yeah, we would have a lot Ron, of Ron, Ron I, I, I accept your analysis on Benghazi. Don't forget also, we wouldn't have had the invented simultaneous video feed that they claimed on Fox News was occurring and that people in the White House were ignoring. So let's not be entirely disingenuous. Well, we don't about... know because no one in the media will actually ask the president uh, and, and, and Hillary the president Clinton has been asked enough. and the That's president's not, press spokesman has been asked and they have all said there was no such thing. Nia Malika, there have been well, where, momentous changes. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Ron. You've got to let other people contribute. Nia Malika, there yes, have been sir. momentous changes going on lately at Fox News, especially the departure of reality TV personality Sarah of Palin. Uh, let's hear what conservative intellectual David Frum says about this. Here he is. He says he's conservative. Watch this in tandem with the fact that Glenn Beck was taken off the air. And as they backed away from him, as they have backed away from other characters who went, I mean, the whole, the whole exercise is, is, the whole network is an exercise in going too far, but as they retreated from those who went farthest, um, I think this is a milestone as well. Now, Liam Leaker, I was under the impression it was not possible to embarrass Fox News, but maybe he's saying it is. Well, one of the things I think uh, that was most interesting about this election uh, cycle was that Fox News was sort of against itself in those last uh, minutes when they were ca calling Ohio and Karl Rove. Uh, almost himself had a bit of a tantrum saying uh, that there was no way that Ohio could have gone for President Obama. Megyn Kelly had to go back there and talk to the folks who actually had the facts uh, and say, in fact, the, uh, that uh, Ohio did, in fact, go to President Obama. I think there is some soul-searching going on there from, yes. I think is, actually, is correct, in 2011 with that exit of Glenn Beck, who, of course, went on uh, to his, his own network, uh, and now with Sarah Palin, kind of the declining fortunes of the Tea Party in this inability of, of the Tea Party and the conservative right to find purchase and find a wider audience. You know, Rush Limbaugh's power is in this so-called 20 million viewer or listeners that he has. I don't know if it's 20 million, 15 million, it might be 2 million, uh, as few as, as 2 million. But I, I think Democrats have been very expert at putting Rush Limbaugh and Fox News at the head of the party, and you haven't seen much pushback uh, from Republicans. In fact, you see Ruby, of course, going out there today and sort of going to Rush Limbaugh and, and offering his immigration plan. So, and so let me get this straight. From him. Let me get this straight. You're going to go after Fox News for having a ton of viewers, right? The, the competitor show to this has about four times as many viewers or at least three times as many viewers. Then you're going to go after Fox News for making the first prediction on Ohio. They beat everyone to the punch on Ohio. So, yeah, they had Carl Rove, wrong, but they also had Joe Trippi and a slew of an You can go they, after Fox News wrong, all you want for their wrong, commentators. Ron, Ron, you're, you're hyperventilating. Nobody's going after I'm Fox. I'm just trying to address the facts and they are as follows uh, Mr. Karl Rove got it disastrously and diametrically wrong. And Joe Trippi, who also works for Fox, got it exactly right. Yeah, but unfortunately, <laughs> Joe Trippi wasn't actually on screen at the time. Final word to you, Joy. Well, you know, I mean, I think it, it is true. Um, uh, Fox News has a lot of viewers. I mean, part of the problem is their average age is 103. And they're all sitting around believing in their deepest of hearts because the experts, the Steve Ducey's, the crack journalists over there, were telling them that that Romney was going to win. That Romney and they had, had its up. Exactly, that all the polls were skewed, that reality was not reality. Bureau of Labor Statistics skewed? 
all skewed and that all of the data was had a liberal bias and so if they just skewed it properly people would understand truth the I problem is that Fox News One this minute wrong. Yeah, is yeah. that the, the glass bubble was burst by the election and so the reality that's rushing in on conservatives now is that most people don't want to voucherize Medicare most people don't want to cut school lunches people like Social Security and you know what darn it people are okay with immigrants and, and guess really what I guess what they elected this president and then re-elected him our thanks to Joy